Uh, when I usually sign the contract uh, for a UFC event, it takes me uh, anywhere from three to four months to prepare for the fight. You got to have it all together, you know, confidence, uh, the mental psychology, you know, knowing that you can go the distance, knowing that you're strong enough and you're, and you're fit enough. I really don't maintain my strength as much as I should because of all the media obligations that we have to do as fighters. And I have a family, you know, I'm a dad first, so I can't, you know, hit the gym and stay in peak uh, shape all year round. Um, so when I join my training camps, that's kind of why I start uh, three months before a fight, you know, because I really want to dedicate uh, my full attention to, to having a pro athlete's body and that's, you know, nutrition and it, it, it has to be about five times a day of, of working out, um, but three times a week of uh, strictly uh, strength training. Usually when my training camps start, we do a lot of heavy weights, uh, low reps, you know, just building explosive power. As the fight gets closer, we focus more on agility uh, lifts where you're using a lot of bungee cords, a lot of light weights, a lot of body uh, weights, a lot of calisthenics and things like that. Um, you know, we're big on uh, muscle endurance and agility in our training camp. Swimming is the most effective cardiovascular workout that I can uh, do. You know, it's, uh, it's extremely low impact on your joints and on your body. And uh, it teaches you composure um, and, you know, technique. It teaches you how to be calm through the storm. I uh, actually swam with a local high school swim team in Albuquerque, New Mexico to prepare for my last three fights. And uh, it was very, it was extremely humbling, you know, to uh, be around a whole bunch of 12th graders. You know, you're the champion of, of the world. And, you know, these guys are not only beating you, but they're bragging, you know. And so uh, it was a humbling experience, and uh, I'm grateful to do it. You know, it, it's good to, to, to pull yourself out of your comfort zone sometime and be beaten up at something. In my opinion, uh, MMA athletes are some of the most diverse, well-trained, disciplined athletes on the planet. Um, in many cases, you know, we're nutritionists because we're in a sport where your weight does matter. Um, we are um, big on cardio. And then there's the actual skill. Um, you know, when you watch a football player, his only job is to, you know, juke and spin and get you off like, like a runner. You know, we have to learn uh, traditions. Like Muay Thai is a whole tradition. There's cultures built around Muay Thai. Western boxing, uh, wrestling. Um, there's just so many different styles that you have to perfect. And when you think about, uh, you know, your average person, you know, they spend a lifetime learning one discipline. And uh, as an elite martial artist, if you don't know all disciplines, you just won't make it. Uh, so um, it's a tough sport. I mean, uh, to the untrained eye, you look at two guys punching each other in the face. Uh, but, you know, this sport's the fastest growing sport on the planet for a reason, because people are starting to educate themselves on what they're actually watching. And once you understand what you're watching, you're realizing that this it's probably one of the most advanced chess games you could ever watch. Oh yeah, baby. This is the wonderful, magnificent sport of mixed martial arts. I hope you enjoyed. Much more to come. UFC 145, only on pay-per-view April 21st. If you miss it, you're not cool.